All right, so it is 17.34 p.m. It is Tuesday evening, and going to do a book review on everybody's loved and hated film, The Art of Star Wars Last Jedi, written by Phil Sostak, forward by Ryan Johnson. So this is a hardcover. This is the slipcover for it. There's that. There's what it looks like without the slipcover. Very pretty. So... <clears throat> Last night, I had done two versions of this, and both of them cut out in the middle of it, so I decided to drop the quality on it to 1080, <clears throat> 1080 so you can really enjoy it. So, two page spreads throughout, one page spreads throughout, and hop on your TV so you can truly enjoy the detail of this art book. So, Last Jedi. Hmm. I know it pisses a lot of people off. I know a lot of people aren't happy with it, but what can you do? Um, but yeah, the art in this, absolutely love it. When you do, if you do decide to buy this, because you're a diehard fan, if you might be, the art artist will be shown on the sides, you know, and then below their works. So you can find them easily. And also, there's Ray and Finn. And here is who all the artists are involved in the project. So, how do I feel about Last Jedi? I like it. It's a god tier film. And. Sadly, I haven't been able to watch it since all of the bullshit went down. Yeah. All that toxicity and all that shit. Yeah, it really ruined my mood. But, oh well. That and every other day on Twitter, somebody's bitching about it. So it's like, mm. Yeah. But overall, the concept art in this book is absolutely astounding. It would have been cool to see Luke like that. But, eh. Oh well, maybe in another universe. So what was my favorite part in this book? Definitely seeing everything come to life. And all the choices of concepts they had for it. What was my favorite thing about the film? The whole thing, honestly. Like, it played out exactly like a book. And I enjoyed that. A lot. Like, it was just so damn good. But, you know, my excitement for it... Isn't all there. Because, I don't know. I don't really care for Star Wars anymore. Aside from my fanfic and stuff. That's about it. Maybe Darth Bane. So. Yeah. But yeah, like. I don't know. That toxicity really got to me. It really sucks. Because normally I don't let it bug me. But damn if it bugged me. <laughs> yeah. So, fun times. I do like the caretakers. They're really interesting. They remind me of um, Jim Henson puppets and stuff, and how they, how Jim Henson really went all out with, you know, bringing shit to life. Because that's what I grew up on. Like, everybody today is spoiled by CGI and practical and, no, and barely any practicality. Whereas my generation grew up with, you know, puppets and shit. So, uh, that always shows up somewhere on my feed. What do I think of Ray? Ray is a very good. Jedi and she really did 
I really do like her. She's really good. I still have to listen to Rise of Skywalker's audiobook, though. I haven't listened to that yet. It's on my list. But, yeah. And of course, it's awesome because we're going to see some titties in this fucking thing. Yeah. Got to see some titties. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, what was my favorite? I do have an absolute favorite part in this film, actually. It's really small, too. It is the tree. And I'll show you why. Cause this really, this really tripped me the fuck out. This alcove right here. This whole alcove tripped me out. Cause in the trailer, that's all you saw. And when I saw that, I was like, oh man, what is that entrance? Cause from the look of it, you know, you know that it's books, but from, you know, say back here, it looks like an entrance. And here are the pages. I kind of wish they were released the texts in a book that we really need to see. But, I oh well. Yeah. Like, overall, the art in this book is really atmospheric. Very spellbinding. Etheric. Great use of colors. Amazing tone, muted setup, I love it all. And if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, you'll definitely enjoy the shit out of this book. But if not, I understand. I'm in the same way. I can identify with that. I know how that feels. You know, if you don't like art books, why are you watching this video? If you do love art books and you want to build your collection up more, definitely get this book because it's worth it. Yeah. I like the supremacy. That's a hell of a shit. That's a hell of a fucking transport. Like, that's some smart shit. It's a transport base. It's better than the Death Star. Like it houses, and it houses so much shit. Like the details in that thing, it's crazy. I love it. <laughs> that would have been cool if he was um, Asian. That would have been good too, because that would have just like really made him more versatile. Here comes the rape. And child murder. Wonder where Grogu's at. Oh, look, there he is. Right there. That little body right there. That's him. What else made this fun? Going to see this opening weekend in D-Box and 3D. Um, Kyler's Fighter is one of my favorites. Because it's sleek, it's predatory. But I wish it had more, I don't know, depth to it, I guess. Old Snoke. Kind of sucks he got killed so so easily, but eh. I'm not that mad about it. Just like whatever. <sighs> hmm. 
What do I think about Raylo? It's a good combo. It's a really good ship. I like it, honestly. There's a lot of things that ship. It's just, it's too much fun. There's so many choices and dynamics with each one. People accuse me of being a pedophile because I shipped them all in Ahsoka. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm gonna be 35. I see the power dynamic between the two of them. Not all ships are sexual. Retard. That's an awesome helmet. Ah, one of the lingering questions I have. Where the fuck did they go? Like, seriously, they were in the throne room, and then they disappeared, and then they never came back. That pissed me off. Like, where the fuck did they go? But the Praetorians, they're awesome. They should have had more of a backstory. And the Knights of Ren as well. I actually own um, two of them. I have the Amazon exclusive Black Series version, and I have the... 18 inch big fig of a Praetorian. Yeah, Finn should have had more, honestly. And his fight with Phasma, dude, that was a lot better in the book. Like, literally, between the book, the comic, and the novelization, and this, I would definitely say each one gives a unique perspective on the film itself. Which is what it's supposed is what you're supposed to have. You know, they're supposed to be like that. And Rose deserved a lot more credit. Like she was perp she was completely fangirling Finn. They weren't trying to build a relationship between the two of them. She idolized the fuck out of him. That's what that was. But people can't read between the lines because they want to niggle and whatever else about something that didn't go their way. But what do I know? And a lot of the concepts, I've mentioned this before, that you see in here will be repurposed for future stuff easily. I've seen it happen a lot. <laughs> Ah, Canto Bite. One of my favorite places in the film. Yeah, he was pointless, but he was pretty cool, though. Justin's a great uh, man, actually. Good writer. Good um, creator. Yeah, he wrote uh, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> I watched that recently. I gotta do a review on that shit. Yeah. And I gotta listen to Canto Bites audiobook as well because I never finished it. But I was happy that this was in the film. That was one of my high hopes that it was in the film. Because, I don't know. I always wanted to see it brought to life and when they brought it to life it really made me happy. Because now when I go back and watch the audio, or well, listen to the audiobook, I'll be able to see everything play out in my head better. I love these speeder concepts. They are so amazing. <clears throat> yeah, they spent a lot of time introducing new species and shit, and I love that. And all these droid heads here, phenomenal. They'll probably be used in future projects as well. That's the beauty of the shit. Everything that didn't get used in the film, it'll be repurposed. But yeah, I love this kind of shit. This is amazing. And she's got Pokemon on her dress. Yeah, the unknown. <laughs> Pretty cool. Father's. Hmm. 
Mm, does Last Jedi have problems? Not to me, but I've heard the issues and arguments. But, I don't know. Eventually, I'll rewatch it whenever the mood strikes. Hmm, huh, DJ. Man, eh, he didn't get much, but at least he was there. He was pretty good, despite how people feel. I like these exploded views. I wish they do that for ships more often, but they won't. I think that'd be a lot of fun to see an exploded view of a ship down to its interior. These racing helmets look great. And it was nice to see a different POV for uh, the Star Wars universe in this because you don't get to see that much of that anymore. Not like you used to. Oh, hell not at all. Like the most POV you have is JVS and the Clone Wars and Rebels. But you didn't really see like the money side of it. You didn't see anything else. Like the only and you saw the politics side as well. And one of the things that was brought up in season three was Padme mentioning, you know, how it affects Social Security, the war, and money. It affects Social Security, health, um, something else, schools, all that shit. So yeah, it was nice to see, you know, how the rich were portrayed in this. That's me on a good day, I promise. Hmm. Ooh, my bad. I like this perspective. This is awesome. Like, straight to the tip. Like, damn. <laughs> Come on. Almost done. So, I hope you're enjoying this. I like this book a lot. But I probably won't buy it because it doesn't have enough art in it that I really like the most to want to own it. So, yeah. I mean, there's a few things I like in here, but if I really like them that much, I'll just get the pictures off Google. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, this battle in the book was hell of a lot better. Way, way better. Yeah, because in the book, she had the Executioner's Axe. And he had the Z6 Stun Baton. And it was pretty brutal. But they changed it to make it less violent. Kind of sad. And she got killed off. Way too soon, honestly. Like, she deserves... She's, like, one of the most underrated characters in the sequels. Honestly. movie it's really good i just wish people would stop bitching about it so much like mm, people don't know how to appreciate art and they want to cry plot holes and whine and 
blah, blah, blah. It's just, ugh. It gets old quick. And if you're watching this and you're like, man, you need to shut the fuck up. This movie sucks. Uh, let me point, let me, add, let me put you with this question. Okay. Do you want to hear about your ex every year? Like, seriously, do you want to hear about how good your ex is doing every fucking year, every day of every year? No, you don't want to hear that shit. I still think it's funny people wanted to have this de canonized people in their safe space words. <laughs> when fucking Carrie helped write it, like, dumbass. I like Haldo, she was pretty good. Though I wish a lot of them had more to them, but... Oh, well. And I like the BB-8 units. Those are really cool. Those are really unique in their own ways. I actually have almost all of them, for the most part. Um, the ships in this are great. Just the whole plot and setup was good. Really was. But I like how this breaks down everything and what was important. Or no, not what was important. How it all came together from rough drafts to the final plot or final conclusion, I should say. I do like how Ryan used crate as blood with the sand, with the sand, the salt. That was really cool. My dad was an intriguing way of portraying blood the most. I like that. That would have been cool, but then they would have been picked off a lot quicker. I like the new walkers, too. Those are really interesting. I'm surprised they didn't bring back the, um... Not bring back, use the, um... MT-80s. That would have been really nice to see. That's really neat. Almost looks like a world devastator. I like the foxes, those are really neat. Oof, there we go. Kinda stiff. Hmm. 
I'm coming. Oh yeah. That was beautiful. And I think this is done. Yep, yeah, that's it. And then we have the index of where everything's at. No, and uh, shame he didn't come back. Oh well, I am mad about it. So that was the Last Jedi art book. So hope you enjoyed it, and if not, totally understandable. If you're not a Star Wars fan. That's cool. If you are, I um, hope you had fun watching this. So, I will be back probably in a little while to do something else. Stay tuned.